Hey, Darvin, down 19 in the first half, you'd rally to take that seven point lead after a really good third quarter until the last two minutes. So what did you see flip back in Brooklyn's favor at that point? I mean, we had some opportunities that uh, we missed, missed some point blank shots. Uh, they got away from us a little bit at the three point line. Um, just had without, you know, I have to go back and look, watch the film, obviously, but you know, they're a formidable ball, formidable ball club, you know, with Seth, Kyrie, obviously, Patty got to go on tonight. Um, we just got to do a better job finishing quarters defensively and then offensively. We got to make plays. It's as simple as that. Um, we have plays right in front of us and we just got to step up and make them. What's the, the kind of the message to the team then you know, as a, just given where you are now, ideally you're getting LeBron and AD back uh, tomorrow. How do you shake off these last two? I mean, we just, I just felt like the first half kind of was a little bit of a hangover from what transpired coming, you know, leaning into the game. Um, from the previous game. And so uh, just told them, take, bottle up what we did in that third quarter and, and let's make the first step in the right direction tomorrow. We got to fill our cups back up, prepare for a really, really good New York Knicks ball club and um, just come out ready to play the right way and sustain it for as much as the 48 minutes as possible. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, nobody, nobody's going to feel sorry for us. I mean, this is. We still had the potential to make this a very good trip. It's three winnable games, but we, you know it starts with us. We got to make up, make it up in our minds that we want to come out and not only play the right way, but play the right way for long periods of time, long durations of time. Darwin, what type of pressure does it put on the overall offense to have the three guards you give the most time uh, to tonight? To and, and obviously uh, Dennis Russ and Pat to shoot that much and shoot that poorly. I mean, it's just it's it's a matter of you know those guys, all three of those guys have had big moments all season, helping us win games. Um, when we do have those ball handlers out there, I think one of the things I wanted to focus on offensively coming out of halftime was us being disciplined in our running habits. Uh, with those guys who used to having the ball in their hands and probably pushing it or leading the break. You know, we, we were we were in the first half. We were coming back asking for the ball too many guys instead of just being disciplined, sprinting to the corners. If you're in the middle, slashing to the rim. And I thought, you know, that set a tone for us in the third quarter because we, we did indeed do that. You know, guys just whoever had the ball, they brought it. Everybody else just sprinted alongside of them. We were able to get a lot of good looks, clean looks from uh, point blank range and uh, three point range. So again, just just, you know, <laughs> the stick to itiveness with our discipline and, and, and our running habits and setting good screens and moving the ball side to side. Uh, we spent a lot of time this year uh, you know, talking about the accomplishments that LeBron continues to pile up. Uh, Russ moved into the top 10 assist uh, list uh, tonight. And, and how, how have you guys as a franchise been able to, I guess, acknowledge stuff like that in the context of, of trying to rack up more wins? I mean, we definitely acknowledged it after the game. Um, everybody gave him, a, um, a, you know, an applause, uh, and that's a hell of a feat. Uh, but, you know, again, and we play the right way, things like that are going to happen. You know, eventually Bron is going to eclipse the scoring record, and uh, Russ is just moving into the top 10 of, of, of all time assist leaders. Those things are great. They, those are huge shots in the arm for our, our franchise and for those guys, for us as a team, those guys individually. But, again, just. We, we, we have to come out and play the right We've shown we have the ability to play with the best of the best in the league when we play the right way and we're disciplined in the way we're playing. And it just basically comes back. But those individual accolades, those are by byproducts. And again, a testament to those guys and their durability, how long they've been playing at a high level, both Russ and Brian. And, um, you know, we celebrate it. We celebrate it as a team.